Greetings, this is Oliver, and I am in Mount Scott Park. Um, just a beautiful little scenic area there. And I wanted to briefly uh, talk about a couple of things in the X, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, um, about the assassinations. And what, what really what it comes down to is you got to break it down into who is behind this do we believe that this is just like rando fucking whack jobs uh or is there more of a concerted effort do we see a theme as we do with uh this ruth the roof root uh the rootman um and with his ukrainian connections went to ukraine 56 year old guy and they're like you know, hey, you might be a little old for the front lines, boss. Why don't you recruit Pakistanis and Afghanis and get them over here? Bing. So there's something going on there. Uh, if you don't want to believe full-blown we've got a CIA uh, military ops type of thing, then you have to at least analyze those basic type of steps, in my opinion. Um, and that, you know, I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm just, I'm trying to be more just kind of like 25,000 foot level uh, of like, this is the situation. This is where we're at, right? This is, it's kind of a repeat pattern. Now, the one thing that I wanted to mention is, is that with psychological operations, all of these attempts are psychological operations, obviously, right? I mean, look what it's doing to the public. Um, I believe that I heard just as we were leaving the apartment for the walk that the bomb threats was not accurate at the uh, rally, the Long Island rally, where there was this huge uh, scuttlebutt this morning about explosives out there in some blue barrel. I just just heard some of that. And then right as I was leaving, I heard one source say, uh, no, that's been um, false. If that's true, that's that's all good. But we have to look at the situation to where this is where we're in. There's going to be more. How do we change this equation pronto?